what's going on so i'm gonna be playing some lava hound today which is a deck i don't think i've ever played on my channel honestly maybe like one time a long time ago but you know it's been forever um oh we're facing pedal of course so he's playing recruits and a bunch of garbage spam um obviously so i'm just gonna go for the machine here to snipe this ghost gonna take a lot of damage but with this lava deck um you kind of have to just tower trade a lot of the time um or at least try and tower trade hopefully i can get his tower here or at least get close um, they evolved barbs to make Lava Hound actually very, very decent again. It used to be so bad in the meta. Um, unfortunately, if you haven't noticed by now, I do have a level 13 Hound. Yeah, I'm not maxed out. It's a sad day. Um, but we're gonna get a lot of damage on this left side from this flying machine. Unfortunately, the, um, Princess is gonna clean up everything. And the long-range troops, like the Magic Archer, are gonna give me a decent bit of trouble since I don't have Fireball in this deck. But I'd rather have arrows in this deck just because of how much Firecracker there is in this meta um he's gonna go for the bandit okay how do i defend this i think i'm gonna go for the low tombstone to just pull that bandit over um and then i'm gonna have to go with the skelly drag split up high to kill the princess and the magic archer hopefully um or at least oh yeah nice that one larry's gonna be clutched never mind it died but it still you know took out the magic archer so we're looking okay right here as long as i can survive ah you know what honestly i'm ignoring that again i'm just gonna go for another lava hound yes it's aggressive but um all right, I can't let that take my whole tower. I got to go for the miner in the middle. Lava Hound is a very hard deck to play now. Um, it used to be really, really easy to play, but I feel like it's pretty difficult to, to run um, as of late just because of how many things are good against it. Like RG always has like Fireball. There's, there's so many decks that just have um, easy defenses against it. I'm just going to go ahead and get the Flying Machine down on this left side. And we should take this left side tower pretty easily here. Um, he is going to bandit. I don't have any Elixir, so we're just going to have to let that go. The e -barb, or not the e-barbs, the evolved barbs on the right side should give me a little bit of damage, so not bad. Um, you know, I'll take that tower trade as long as I can get his other tower. I'm actually going to go for a second lava in the middle here, because I think he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Flying machine locks on the king tower. I'm going to go for the miner on top of the princess to take that out. Never mind. Of course, he just predicts it with the mini Pekka. That's lovely. Um, he's going to take my tower here, but I should take his, I think. Um, okay, maybe not. This could be really bad, actually. 30 seconds left. Okay, I gotta do something here. Um, flying Machine is gonna lock on for two shots, I believe. 20 seconds left. Um, okay, gonna have to go Barbs because he does Mini Pekka. And then I gotta go for like a Miner. What do I do here? Um, 10 seconds. Gonna go for the Miner to the side. Go ahead and Flying Machine in the middle. Hopefully it locks on the tower, please. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. I was really worried that we weren't going to get the damage right there. Now we're in a decent situation. Three-tower game. Like, when's the last time I went to a three-tower game? I have no idea. But anyways, okay, so I got to be ready for the recruits and the um, mini P.E.K.K.A. For some reason, he has mini P.E.K.K.A. I don't know. This deck is completely whack. Like, he's just built a mid-ladder deck on top ladder, basically. Um... <laughs> I don't even know. Gonna go Skelly Drags. Go for the Miner on top of the Princess. Honestly, right away, because I don't want to um, let that thing splash for a thousand years. Really bad banded by him. I can just go for another Flying Machine here. And we're kind of in a good situation, actually. Um, believe it or not, I might actually have just won the game. Look how much stuff we have coming down. I have, I have literally my entire deck on the board right here. There's just no way he defends this with his, like, two air counters. Um, I can just spam a four Skeleton Dragons on this left lane. And yeah, good luck with that. Finally, we beat this guy. You know, I lose to him very often with, with Ice Bow, so, you know, feels good to get a little revenge, especially against, like, a mid ladder deck like that. We'll take a nice uh, win to start the video. All right, got the next match here. Just going to go ahead and, you know what, I'm not really a big fan of going for Lava first play, but, you know, honestly, I lose to it so often that it is very tempting to do. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to stoop to those levels as this guy literally just drops a Royal Giant first play in the back. Nice. He's playing Evolved RG. You know what? Maybe I can actually beat this deck now because I'm not playing freaking Expo. Um, he's going to go for the Log. I think that's a little early. Yeah, this guy. This guy is... Uh, I can tell he's a very generic... What the heck? Oh my gosh. I swear I'm like top 300 ladder or like top 250 or something. Why am I facing like absolute weird decks? Um, okay, here's the play, right? I'm gonna go for the miner on the firecracker and then spam the barbs at the other lane on the bridge Just because I know he's not gonna have enough elixir to defend both sides and protect his firecracker um, Late mini P.E.K.K.A. too as well. I gotta air these bats on zero um, We're gonna clip the skellies as well. I think maybe okay barbs are gonna get to tower surely like there's just no way I don't get to tower right there 
Um, flying Machine on the left, okay, he does defend the right side pretty well. I'm honestly going to spam Skelly Skeleton Dragons on zero, because I think he has, like, no elixir. Um, Alright, you know what, I'll take that. He's going to zap. Ah, it is what it is. We're going to get his tower lower than he has either of ours, so I'll take it. Um, Two-tower game against RG might be a little tough, but it also is hard for him to defend in, two in a two-tower situation. Um, if you guys don't, like, ever play Lava Hound, then... Um, most of the games, you, you are going to lose a tower or, like, go into a two or three tower match. Um, it's just kind of how it is. I'm just going to go for the eye drag on top of this RG over here on the on the right side. Um, kind of a bad RG because he literally gave no support to it. I'm just going to go for the evolved barbs at the river. Hopefully he doesn't have fireball. Um, okay, yeah, he definitely doesn't. I'm going to actually just ignore this hog on the left and go for the arrows on top of the firecracker. Um, I miss the firecracker, but we hit the bats. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Um... Kind of a, just a bad play right there by me, but you know I wanted to tower trade because this tower is a little bit more healthy. Um, okay, how do I defend this? I'm gonna go tombstone load then I drag up high on zero. No, that was late. Okay, um, he's gonna get some decent chip from this RG, but I'm pretty confident I can take his second tower here if I just go for a lava. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna lava the metal now. Look at this, the king tower is not even targeting the eye drag yet, so that's really good for me. Can just arrow this firecracker. All right, he's probably gonna take my tower, but you know it's fine. I'm just gonna go for the barbs in the pocket here. Just keep the pressure on. Maybe we can get the three crown while we're here. While we're here, it's gonna be another three tower race game. Um, I think. Yeah, those barbs are gonna take tower flying machine. It's gonna take out that firecracker. I can just go for the miner in the very back. Um, let's go. Is that three crown? I don't know. No, he's got bats, right? He has bats. So I shouldn't three crown him here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the eye drag early. <laughs> I feel so awkward in three tower situations when I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? Um, all right, there's the hog. We'll go for the uh, skelly drags up high after that firecracker shoots. And okay, this mini P.E.K.K.A. needs to get off my tower, please. Okay, evolve barbs, carry me to this victory, please. I'm gonna get the eye drag ready in case he RGs the bridge. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do. This is so awkward. I'm gonna go for the eye drag to kill this hog right away, then flying machine up high to snipe this firecracker because I need it to get off the board like immediately. Um, we'll go for a miner to um, tank for these barbs, but he catches it with the mini P.E.K.K.A. All right, we're kind of choking. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, another set of bats. That's pretty annoying. Gonna go skelly drags and then tombstone to pull this hog rider over. Um, we don't have the evolved barbs in cycle. I can just go eye drag up high. Please don't tell me that mini pack is getting there. Okay, we're good. As long as I can like, nah, I gotta be careful and not just go for lava because he could just overwhelm me and three crown me so fast. I'm gonna get the barbs down. Why did that mini P.E.K.K.A. almost walk to my tower? Okay, gonna get the lava down in the pocket. Really bad hogs. He played right into two barbs. Not too sure about that one. We can just go for the arrows. That's gotta be game, right? There's no way he defends this. Um, gonna go for the miner and then tombstone for the mini P.E.K.K.A. just in case. And we get the three crown. <laughs> First two games of the video, two three crowns. Let's go. I mean, Lava Hound OP, I guess. I don't remember the last time I ever got a three crown with an expo. Like, what the heck? In the next match here, and this guy's clan name already got me cracking up. Um, you know what? Do I do it? Come on. It's, uh, you know, it's so tempting, but I'm not good. I'm just going to go for the eye drag instead on top of this hog. <sighs> Every single, uh, my inner demons were telling me to lava first play, but, you know, I'm glad I didn't because that would have been uh, pretty bad. I'm actually going to go for the lava in the opposite lane here. Nice. He uses his firecracker, and what a shock. He's playing hog firecracker evolution. What an actual beast. Um, okay. I don't really want to lose my entire tower just yet so i'm actually gonna go barbs up high if he pops the ability which he most likely will um yeah i'm just gonna go for the skelly drags right away i know he doesn't have firecracker in cycle yet so he might be in a little bit of trouble um okay he does have tesla version instead of bomb tower which would make it uh, it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for me i can just go for the arrows on top of this firecracker right away um is he dead he might be dead low-key if i get this miner down on like literally zero elixir Nah, of course he plays the Mighty Miner front of the tower. <sighs> you know what, it's fine. I could have won the game right there, but you know, it's fine, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Tombstone to counter this Mighty, because it's kind of my only play right here. Um, Lava Hound's definitely a harder deck to master than, than most decks, in my opinion, just because there's so many things that can go wrong. How did he get a second Mighty Miner? <laughs> Alright, nah, I, I still think this card needs a nerf, personally, but... You know, maybe it's just my opinion. I feel like it just is infinite value in every situation. I'm gonna go for the evolved barbs. That hog is literally getting wrecked. There's no chance I get to my tower. Uh, all right. <laughs> no. Okay, what is happening? He's just tossing cards in the river. Um, casual uh, hog rider cycle gameplay right now. 
I'm uh, gonna go for the flying machine. It should take out this stupid firecracker. Um, uh, okay, this thing is literally... Okay, this is just cover the entire map. He's still protecting it. I have to eye drag as well, so it's just gonna give it more value. You know, that would be it would be lovely if I could just drop an arrows to kill a firecracker like normal, but you know, apparently that's just not how this game works up anymore. Um, so gonna go for the tomb, I guess. I got a cycle. Bruh, this thing is literally invincible. Gonna go for the miner on tower, and then we can go barbs up high, go for the arrows to hopefully just kill everything. Please, it's been alive for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if he puts something in front of it. Oh. Guys, I'm literally going to go insane. All right, we're going to miner on top of this stupid card. I don't care if it, I literally spend my entire... It's still alive! No way! Oh my gosh! Nah, I'm about to rage. You guys are about to experience some actual rage in a second here. Um, okay, screw this guy. Whew. All right, you can take a deep breath, drop the eye drag in the back, act like that never happened. Man that pissed me off i can't lie to you guys um gonna have the barbs ready in case he wants to uh yep there it is go for the uh mighty minor switch but i'm just gonna go tombstone now that we cycle to it then arrows this firecracker actually i don't even need to i don't think nah i'm gonna go with the miner on top of it instead because he's probably gonna cycle back to another one he just earthquake nothing yeah you're dead oh predicted in the middle yes 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 this is great um good commentary there i'm just gonna go for the flying machine spam yeah you're getting bm dude I, I don't care i'm so pissed off about that one stupid firecracker even though this is a good matchup for me uh, i'm not even happy that i won that i'm just still mad about that stupid thing all right anyways going on to this next match here against mocha you know what actually i'm gonna go for the lava hound opposite lane of that monk because i feel like monk is one of the best counters to Lava Hound since he can just pop the ability and kill all the support troops. And you know what, I, I could just have to go for the tower trade. I wasn't about to play a um, Flying Machine or Skelly Drags into the Monk because that would just be kind of stupid. Um, I am going to go for the Flying Machine, hopefully snipe this Firecracker. That would be lovely. Never mind, he's going to protect it with a Phoenix. We're going to arrows that though. All right, he's definitely playing Royal Giant since, um, yeah, oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna get the eye drag down immediately maybe kill this thing um quick ish he's gonna go for the firecracker at the bridge really <sighs> all right maybe i should title this video hunter goes insane trying to defend firecrackers for for 15 minutes or however long this is um <laughs> gosh he's gonna what is he what is happening right now he's just tossing cards on the river like i, I don't know why he thinks this is okay just gonna get the easy barbs right there don't know what that was um honestly just gave me a massive positive elixir trade so i can't even complain he's just gonna clean that all up with the bar barrel though so that kind of sucks um let's see i might just go ahead and nah i'm gonna set up a tombstone first try and play this a little bit slower not just be a brain dead uh lava in the back kind of player um <laughs> You know what? He's not doing anything. It's time to be a brain dead lava in the back player. Just gonna drop this thing off, see what he wants to do. I guess I was up like four or five elixir probably and didn't even realize because uh, I was just so distracted raging about the firecracker over and over. So he's gonna probably go for a firecracker. Okay, never mind. He's gonna. I don't understand that that RG because obviously I have my eye dragon cycle right, um, and you're playing it into a lane that you don't have any damage. Okay, I'm actually not gonna spam those just yet i want to uh gosh i can't stand the firecracker sorry anyways um i need to get a big push off and i think i'm gonna actually just go ahead and lava in front of these skelly drags because tombstone should clean up never mind nothing is gonna pull all right monk's gonna take my entire tower this is optimal right here gonna go for the arrows if you would have popped the ability right there i think i would have cried um and my dad i might just have lost the game because of that interaction i'm gonna go for the miner in the very back hopefully no way <sighs> okay that's fine 20 seconds left this might be a rip um yeah this is looking like a rip i'm not gonna lie actually you know what i'm gonna spam everything at the bridge because he just fireballed nothing we're not gonna get let him get away with that um uh, gonna go for the eye drag as well these barbs should melt the monk and then i can just arrow this firecracker there's no way evolve barbs carry me please <gasps> no way wait he's gonna fireball <laughs> that's a perfect way to end the video thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one peace